what's going on my friends welcome to the channel and thank you for watching the premier league match week five is gonna be this weekend but in the meantime we had some other competitions going on and many teams from the premier league been involved in the champions league we had aston villa who beat young boys 3-0 away liverpool beat ac milan 3-1 away that was on tuesday and on wednesday we had manchester city drawing against the inter at home 0-0 and on thursday the day that i am recording this video the games still has to be played so i don't know the result yet arsenal are gonna play against atlanta away so why i have to mention this in a premier league video because that could play when it comes to the premier league this weekend fatigue injuries and all that can play a big role when it comes to the premier league games this weekend and other teams from the premier league that were involved in the carabao cup this week Bradford, everton southampton fulham crystal palace manchester united wolves brighton and tottenham hospitals so that is the reason why i wanted to mention other competitions because fatigue injuries can play a big role when it comes to the premier league this weekend very quickly let's start by the games on saturday september the 21st 2024 the first game is gonna be west ham against chelsea london stadium very very early game if you are in the u.s eastern court you have to wake up at 7 30 in the morning for the other part of the country you might have to wake up like 4 30 in the morning to watch this game so let's go west ham drew their last game in the premier league against fulham in another london derby 1-1 Chelsea went away and beat Bournemouth 1-0. A very tough game. London derby. Everything goes out of the window. But I think Chelsea to win this one 2-1. And remember, I will make uh, entire videos when it comes to big games. So I don't have to waste your time here. Chelsea 2. West Ham 1. Moving on, Aston Villa against Wolves. Aston Villa, like I said, involved in the Champions League. Everton were involved in the Carabao Cup. Both teams are going to be a little bit tired to play on Saturday, but it is what it is. They are professional football players. They know how to recover. The last game in the Premier League, Aston Villa beat Everton. 3-2. What a comeback that was with an amazing golasso from John Duran to win the game. And Wolves lost against Newcastle United at home 2-1. I think Villa are going to be too strong for Wolves and it's going to be 2-1 to Aston Villa. Fulham against Newcastle United. Fulham playing home at the last game in the London Derby they they drew against West Ham so they they have to try everything and win this game Newcastle United they've been good they've been beating teams for fun so I think this game is going to be very tough the last game in the Premier League uh, Newcastle actually beat Wolves away 2-1 it's gonna be a 2-2 draw we move Leicester City against Everton Everton I don't know when they're gonna suck their manager but <laughs> they've been very very bad awful for the last two games they were leading like 2-0 up I'm talking about the games in the Premier League here and then they ended up both games losing 3-2 exact same score it was against Bournemouth and the same thing happened against Aston Villa. 
Crystal Palace drew against Leicester City. So Leicester City still got some kind of momentum compared to Everton, if you know what I mean. I think Sean Dyche is going to fight and this game is going to be a 1-1 draw. Liverpool against Bournemouth. Liverpool got some momentum for winning away against AC Milan in the Champions League. The last game in the Premier League, they lost against Nottingham Forest at home 1-0. And Bournemouth lost against Chelsea 1-0 also at home. So both teams need to win. But Liverpool are playing home. They would like to get the mojo back at Anfield Stadium. Liverpool 3, Bournemouth 1. Next up, Southampton against Ipswich. You know what? I want, I don't know. I don't know what team I should support because I have my boys in both teams here. Southampton, Ugo Chuko play there. Ipswich, we have Omari Hanchison, my boy. So I don't know, man. Let the best win. Manchester United beat Southampton the last game, 3-0. And Ipswich got a draw against uh, Brighton. So not bad. Not bad at all. But I think this game is going to be a draw 2-2. Spurs against Brentford. London Derby. Wow. Spurs lost against Arsenal 1-0 at their own stadiums. So they're not going to accept to lose back-to-back -back at their own stadium. Brentford lost against City in the Premier League the last game. 2-1. I'm going for Spurs. Spurs are going to wake up and win this game 3-1. The last game on Saturday is going to be between Crystal Palace and Manchester United. Wow, what a game that is going to be. I still remember last season where Palace completely destroyed <laughs> Manchester United. But this this season is, is different. United got more quality. And every time Eric Ten Hag is under pressure, he always delivers. So they they have some kind of momentum now. They, they, they beat Barnsley, right? 7-0 in the Carabao Cup. Crystal Palace, they've been so-so. But I think United are going to win this game 2-1. Brighton against Nottingham Forest. Brighton drew their last game in the Premier League. Nottingham Forest beat Liverpool in their last game in the Premier League. Brighton, they, they, don't, they haven't lost any game and they're playing home. I'm afraid they might win this game 2-1. Yeah, it's going to be 2-1 win for Brighton. And the last game on Sunday is going to be the big one, the title game. Yeah, the final before the final. I know it's too early in the season to start talking about those crap. The season's still very long. This is the fifth game. But every point that you can get from your position is going to help you in the end. City against Arsenal. City beat Brentford the last game 2-1. Arsenal beat Tottenham Hospers 1-0 the last game in the Premier League. City just lost the Bruna. On Wednesday in the Champions League, I don't know yet by the time of recording how bad the injury is. Arsenal, they're going to be missing out on Odegaard, but they still have power to, to compete against City. So if Odegaard is going to be out and De Bruyne is going to be out, it's kind of cancelled each other, right? So, okay, you have a key player injured. We have a key player injured. Let's go and fight. City are playing home. They just drew. In the Champions League, 0-0 against Inter at home. Arsenal, by the time of recording, I don't know the result yet because they haven't played against Atalanta. But whatever what's going to happen, it is what it is. What I can say here is that Manchester City got advantage here. They played home in the Champions League. They have 24 hours rest more than Arsenal. Arsenal need to play in Italy, fly back to London, and from London, fly to Manchester. So it's going to be a, a long journey for them. So fatigue is going to kick on at some point, and it's going to be difficult for the Gunners. But it looks like Arsenal are very determined this season 
to beat Manchester City. Whoever is going to win this game is going to have a mental advantage on the opposition. 2-2 draw. Yes, it's going to be a draw. 2-2.